Praise Him, Lord. <laughs> that was good. Yay. Wow. And you went loose? That's beautiful. Yes. That was awesome. Beautiful. Okay, now come in with your left hand. Yep. That's excellent. All right, praise him. That's beautiful. Good. Very nice. Good. Okay, get some more distance. Praise and reward. Nice. Okay, praise him. Good. Now this time when you do position three, I want you to throw the bait directly in line in front of him. You threw it over to the side last time. Okay. So he was stacked and his head was turned and it didn't look as good. Okay. So I'm throw it. Okay. Just like that. Release. Okay, get it, get it, get it. That was much better. Look at that, see? And then, so you're starting off with this. This is introduction. And then you're getting to the point where you're at the end of six feet and you're moving over and the dog will shift. Okay. Can you imagine the control you're gonna have in the ring when you and your dog can do that? This thing is so much fun. And look at the focus she's getting now. Wait. I think that looks good, but you're, you're looking at him with your eyes. So instead of him having his muzzle where it needs to be level, he's focusing on your eyes. Oh, that's nice. Good. Now, every once in a while, that rear foot is out of position and here's what's causing that when you get in front of him you're turning around like this and you're stopping so it just makes him stop but if you do what your instructor's asking you to do if you lean forward and walk backwards like this then he can step into that stack and plant his feet but if you get in front of him then he goes like this so, so tr come down and you'll be backwards both. Exactly. Backwards, leaning forward, no eye contact so we can see these hands. And then, so your step, step, stand. Okay, so that was a good... A little bit better, but you're still standing straight up. <laughs> there it is. And then stand. Boom. There you go. Beautiful. Good job. Woohoo! Okay, so this is what it's like when a dog has never seen a stacking ladder before and they don't quite know what they're doing yet. So I'm going to take my leash, I'm going to put this on my pinky, and I'm just going to wrap this up just a little bit. I want to use as long as leash as possible. I'm going to put the treat in my lead hand. Come on, Winston. I'm going to lead him right where I want him. Stand. Good job. That was excellent. Wait. Wait, come, stand. Good job! That was so good. And you can see that I'm looking past. I don't care where he's standing yet. Wait, wait, come, stay. Good job! Very nice. That was excellent right there. And all I'm getting him to do is learn how to focus on my body and my hand. Now I'm gonna turn him a little bit. Come, come, and stand. Good, you can see he's not straight right there. 
come stand and now he's perfectly straight and that's because of the position of my body you did such a good job good head straight no head straight head straight good boy yes Head straight. Head straight. Winston, stop. Head straight. Good. Yes. Good. There he is. Good boy. Yes. Now let's stay in touch. Yes. Good touch. Good boy. Okay. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Touch. Yes. Good boy. Rise. Lutz. Rise.
hard. Okay. Good job. Good. Whoop. Ah. Uh -uh. Whoop. Good. Very. Yes. Good. Shoulders turn. Nice, that was perfect. Turn it sideways. You straighten your shoulders out because it's crooked. Bring your left there a little more. Right there. Okay, now turn your palm direction and step to the side. Good. Good. Beautiful. Good girl. Beautiful. Good girl. Good. Your shoulders. Shoulder turn just a little I bit. Saw it. Yeah. I felt it. It's so small. Yeah. For Your feet. <laughs> <laughs> Let me back. I'm just slightly turning your shoulder. There you back. go. Back. Good. Yes. She's so much more responsive like that. I saw it. Yep. I really saw it that time. And I felt the difference. Yep. It makes a big difference once I can feel it. Isn't it amazing how it's shocking. Yeah. She's so square to you right now, too. Okay. Her hawks look amazing. She loves squaring up on you. Yep. You turn drastically, and that's why you got her to angle when you move to the side. That's what I'm doing. Yep. Because she comes forward, and that's why. Right, because that shoulder dipping. Okay. Catalina, back. Back. Good girl. Over. Good. 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 Much, much better. You're still a little crooked right now. There you go. Now you're square. I'll see how you see that. Back. Back. Good. 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 Back. That's when the first time she's gone back with me out on a step forward. Right. And again, that's the first time you actually did that where you were square with good body posture. Back. Good. Back. Good. Good, good, good. Kalina. Perfect posture. Perfect posture. Kalina. Back. Good. Yes. Good girl. Okay. See, but she always comes forward. Yeah, because you go like this. 
because of my hand when I get the bait. Yep. Stop. Stay. Okay, so you had your palm going for her to go forward, but your body was standing straight up. I was trying to be subtle about it because I wanted her to just take one step. Should I have just used Just a little bit, right? yeah. Yeah, you got to be consistent with that because that, otherwise she's guessing of what yeah. you want her to do. Okay. Back. Good. Gee, she's more responsive like that. Good. Good. Stop. See, that was good. You leaned forward just a tiny bit. Yes. And it felt right. Yep. Stop. So let's say she's doing really, really well. I want you to adjust your body so you get on that side facing this way and now start doing side by sides. Turn yeah. Turn yeah. Yeah. That's pretty damn small. Yeah. So now turn her sideways. Okay. Can I get her feet in it first? Yeah, get her feet in it first. Keep your shoulders square, toes square, and just go side by side. Good. Good. Stop. Stop. Left. Okay. That's straight. So I have to pull my shoulder back. Right. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. Actually, Yep. And you're now you got better height now too. You're not too high. I'm concentrating. You're slightly bending your shoulders. There you go. I felt that. Yep. So my jacket was bulky and I lost uh -huh. myself. Anyways. Now try your other hand. That one's fine. That one's fine. Okay. That's really good. That's really good. Okay. So you really got to put those shoulders really back. Backwards. Yep. Okay, so we're going to build a ladder for this dog. And the stacking ladder needs to have 13 pieces of equal length on it. I've made out of PVC pipe. Now, in order to do this, what we need to do is make sure from the withers down, that's where the center of his foot is at. And then on the rear foot, when we stack, the hock joint should be straight up and down. The tip of the butt should be at the front of the rear foot. Okay, so this dog is 21 inches from the back of the rear foot to the front of the front foot. So that's, that's the size that we're gonna have to cut on the pieces. All right, let's go cut some pieces. And cut. Cut. <laughs> Okay, so today we're going to make a stacking ladder and we're gonna do this out of PVC pipe and we're going to build it so we can let a dog stack within a square and it's gotta be square on all four sides, the same length on all four sides. You'll need a minimum of 13 pieces of PVC pipe to do this. Now, there are many ways you can cut this. Obviously, if you have electrical tools, then that works really good. This little box kit right here is great because you can use this in the future for different angles, making frames with all the winning uh, trophies that you get and all the rosettes and stuff like that. You can make some shadow boxes and you'll be set for that. And then it has this little box saw and we're gonna take off the guard on that put that off to the side and we've measured the dog and found that the dog is 21 inches from the back of the rear foot to 
the front of the front foot. So that's 21 inches. So I'm gonna make my mark right here. And there's piece number one of 13. Cut! All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna start putting these pieces together. And so we'll say that this is gonna be an end piece and we'll pop this inside and just give some little taps there to get that in all the way. And then we're going to put this one in like so. And we'll do a little tap. See, I'm gonna pop over here. Okay. Try to keep it as square as possible to make it easier. You don't necessarily have to glue these pieces together. That way if you want to take them apart you can. Ta-da! Okay, so now we have the stacking ladder. So what we do is we place that on the floor. And our goal here is to start off trying to get the dog to stack in this spot here. We lean forward, we walk backwards, and we get them to try to stack in this one. In the beginning, it's not gonna work that great. In the beginning, they're just gonna kinda of like stand. We're gonna reward them anyway, because we want them to get excited. And you're gonna see that you're gonna have a lot more focus, intensity, um, showing attitude, showing expression. Uh, this is a fun game, but you don't wanna look in their eyes because you want them to start learning how you're communicating with your body. If you look at them in the eyes, then you lose all this beautiful communication. We're working back and forth, stacking them in this direction. We're using all four of these boxes. Then we back them up, go into this box, back them up, go into that box, back them up, go into this box. And when this is starting to work well for you, then you're going to learn how to bring them into a box and then turn them so they're actually facing this way now. The purpose of this and the goal is to have them following your feet, following your knees, your hips, your shoulders, your waist, your head, and learning how to communicate with all parts of your body. Then you're gonna get them nice and square in front of you, and you're gonna shake your hand, and you're gonna shift to a side. Your palm direction is very important. If you shift to the side and your palm direction is off, they're going to turn their body. You don't want that. You're teaching them how to use every part of your body as a communication tool. And you're going to see the intensity and the focus is going to be phenomenal. All right, so this is Eric Salas with Eric Salas Workshops. This is how you build a stacking ladder. Next video, we'll show you how to use it. Cut!